Vullaby just got banned and I'm here to talk about what's going to be good in this new post Vullaby metagame. And make sure you watch the entire video because throughout the video I'm going to be mentioning three Pokemon that I think are underrated and that you might not have thought about them yet. And furthermore at the end of the video I'm going to be sharing one of my favorite new metagame teams. So make sure you stick around to the very end and as always make sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm it really helps me out a lot. So let's get into it. First of all let's start with a Pokemon called Grookey. And you probably already know Grookey because it's one of the top Pokemon in Little up, even when Vullaby was in the tier. But with Vullaby gone, Grookey loses one of its main checks because Vullaby with weak armor and flying stab could beat Grookey pretty easily. So now Grookey is even better. And one of the things I really like to use on Grookey now is actually a set with Grassy Seed, Swords Dance, and Acrobatics. And obviously, uh, Grassy Terrain, Grassy Surge, right? So the reason I like this set is because with Vullaby gone, there aren't that many Grookey checks. And one of the things that comes to mind as a Grookey check is Fungus, right? Because Fungus can resist grass. So that's why you run a set with Swords Dance and Acrobatics to actually defeat Fungus. And in previous metagames, I would actually run Itemless Grookey. But the thing is, nowadays, everybody knows about Itemless. So say, for example, you Swords Dance, and you're itemless, your opponent knows that, okay, he must be uh, acrobatics itemless because otherwise he wouldn't have swords dance for no reason. So, because anyways, right now, it's obvious if you're itemless, it's better to just use Grassy Seed. So I really like Grassy Seed Grookey right now. And Grookey in general is a huge uh, beneficiary of Vullaby leaving the tier. So always keep Grookey as a top threat right now. And after Grookey, we have Psychic Types. And Psychic Types should have been relatively obvious because when a Dark Type leaves, Psychic Types are going to get better, but it's a little bit more nuanced than that. So for example, let's look at Ponyta Galar. If we look at Dark Types in the tier, there's Scraggy and there's Ponyard, with Ponyard being much more common. So previously in a Vullaby metagame, you had to run Dazzling Gleam on your Ponytas. But now you don't have to do that because Ponyta already gets Mystical Fire. So Mystical Fire can hit Ponyard and it can hit Pharaoh Seed too. You don't have to run two separate coverage moves to hit Dark Types. So that means Pony to Galar now has a lot of freedom. So Psychic and Mystical Fire are probably mandatory, but now you have a lot of freedom with, for example, Calm Mind, Morning Sun. You could even run Protect if you wanted to protect yourself against Trap Inch. You can run Double Kick too if you really want to hit uh, if you really want to hit Ponyard, and if you really want to hit Scraggy, there's no harm in actually running Dazzling Gleam again. So you have a lot of options, and that versatility is something that Pony to Galar did not have before. Before you had to run Dazzling Gleam for Bellaby. So one of Pony to Galar's biggest problems in their old metagame was that it had too many moves, but only four move slots. You couldn't really do everything you wanted to do with it, but now you have a lot more freedom, and that's really good. And we're going to the next Psychic type, and this is the first of three underrated Pokemon. A Pokemon that I really like right now is Natu. And Natu, to me, with Magic Bounce, is a really, really underrated Pokemon. And previously with Vullaby, it was completely unviable. You couldn't use Natu and Vullaby. You couldn't use Natu because of Vullaby. But now Natu also has the benefit of Psychic and Heat Wave. And as I mentioned earlier, the only other a common dark type would be Ponyard and you can hit that with a Heat Wave. And similarly, Natu has a lot of good moves. You can run Giga Drain, you can run Thunder Wave, you can run even Roost if you want, or you can run Berry Juice and not have to run Roost. You can run Dazzling Gleam for Scraggy. You can even run Air Slash. Yeah, it gets Air Slash too. So you have a lot of options and you combine that with Natu's high speed, like this speed of 70 is really good in Little Cup. You can actually hit um, 17 speed. And it because of its ability magic bounce, you can try and deny hazards from, for example, Pharaoh Seed or Mudbray. So it's really good and it's one of my underrated Pokemon for this new meta. And after Psychic Types, we have another obvious beneficiary, which are Ground Types. So the first Ground Type we're going to look at is Mudbray. And Mudbray has gotten a lot better because it doesn't have to worry about Vullaby. Earthquake is really strong, and probably you want high horsepower too because of Grookey. But look at that attack stat. 100 attack stat is one of the strongest in Little Cup, I believe. So really strong, and you don't have to worry about Vullaby anymore. So you can have moves like Heavy Slam, which can hit Grookey. And if Natu ends up becoming more popular, maybe you could run Rock Slide, but right now you don't really need to. You can run stuff like Close Combat. So Mudbray is really good right now, and you can run whatever set you want. You can run Eviolite with Stealth Rock, or you can run even Choice Scarf, which is really good. I personally like Choice Scarf. And one of the subtle things about why Mudbray got better is because previously, when you had to pick a Stealth Rocker, you had to have a Flying Resist. So 
typically people used to pick Onyx instead of Mudbray because it's just easier because you already have that flying resist built in. You didn't have to do a Mudbray and then find a different flying resist. So that's one of the reasons why Mudbray is better now if you go for that Stealth Rock route with Eviolite, Stamina, and then Stealth Rock with horse high horsepower. So that's one of the reasons. And now we're going to move on to my second underrated Pokemon. And this is called Drillbur. And Drillbur has a reputation for being kind of a bad Pokemon, but I don't think that's true anymore. With Vullaby gone, I actually think Drillbur is really, really good right now. And one of the reasons is because um, with a Berry Juice set, it's actually a pretty threatening sweeper. So Mold Breaker is nice too. But the main thing is that Poison Jab can one-hit KO Grookey, and that is pretty big. So you have a Ground type, which can actually one-hit KO Grookey. That's going to be really big. And on top of that, Drillbur is a pretty good cleaner. It has stuff like Rapid Spin, for example, which means that if you can Rapid Spin, you get that speed boost and you can start throwing off Earthquakes, for example. You can use a Swords Dance too. So Rapid Spin plus Swords Dance is a really powerful sweeping combination. And we look at a Drillbur as a tax stat. It's already pretty good. It's 85, which is really, really decent, actually. So it's a very underrated pick. It has its flaws, right? But with Vullaby uh, Defog being gone right now, Drillbur's Rapid Spin is a really good replacement, and I really like this combination of Swords Dance with Poison Jab. It's a really good cleaner, and if, even if you want early game, you can break down with Swords Dance. So I really like ground types in this meta right now. And now we have ghost types, and ghost types are basically going to be Pumpkaboo Super and Frillish. And Frillish and Pumpkaboo Super, they were pretty limited by Vullaby because Vullaby was faster and could use knockoff. They were very tough to use these two Pokemon. Pumpkaboo in particular was completely unviable because of Vullaby. Frillish had some use in a Vullaby metagame because it could burn the Vullaby pretty easily and it was relatively bulky, which meant that it could handle, for example, Scarf Porygon which was really popular at the time. But now that Vullaby is gone, both of these Pokemon are good again. They do have to worry about knockoff in obviously a little cup metagame, but without Vullaby, these guys are pretty good right now. Pumpkaboo in particular has gone from unviable to actually decent because this grass type means it can check these ground types like Mudbray and Drillbur. And in addition, it does get moves like Will-O-Wisp, which is nice. But basically, ghost types are really good right now. And one underrated aspect about these ghost types is that they can spin block. So they can stop rapid spin. And this is big because with Vullaby gone, Vullaby was actually the main defogger. So now you, people are going to be turning to rapid spin instead. So they might use rapid spin Drillbur. They might use rapid spin Staryu. So ghost types are really good right now to actually block rapid spin. And the discussion of spin blockers actually leads me to the next section, which are hazard stackers. So for example, Dewpiter is going to be really good right now because of its ability to stack sticky web, because you can use Dewpiter with a spin blocker to keep your sticky webs up. Previously, it was kind of tough to keep the webs up with Vullaby in the tier. So now that you have spin blockers, your hazard stackers like Dewpiter become really, really good. So I'm really a big fan of Dewpiter right now. And in addition, we move on to my third underrated Pokemon, and that is Dwebble. Dwebble has always been kind of mediocre, I would say, but Dwebble has a combination of Stealth Rock and Spikes. So you pair that with a spin blocker, and you have a really powerful offensive team because Stealth Rock and Spikes can really add up and you pair it with some offensive Pokemon. And I really, really like Dwebble. Dwebble is one of my favorite Pokemon and it's definitely underrated. And not many people even think of Dwebble as this type of hazard stacking lead, but it's really good at its job and I highly recommend Dwebble. So yeah, these are basically what I believe are going to be good now that Vullaby is gone. And I'm actually going to share with you one of my favorite teams as a thanks for actually making it this far in the video. So one of my favorite teams is actually this team I used in LCPL, which is built around hazard stacking Dwebble. So if we go, we have Grookey, right? So Grookey is a set with Grassy Seed Acrobatics, which I mentioned earlier, and it's a really nice offensive threat. Then we have Berry Juice Ponyta. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to put this in the, in the description, so don't need to worry about that. Just check the description for the team. But yeah, we have Ponyta here with the Berry Juice set, and this is actually a very offensive set with the idea being to uh, spam Flare Blitz with coverage moves, get a Flame Charge up. It's really powerful. And then we have Scraggy, and Scraggy is basically your standard Dragon Dance set, but I really like Protect on Scraggy because it can help you versus Trap Inch first impression, it can help you versus Fake Out. If you're fighting a Grookey, you can protect and gain health from the grassy terrain. It's really good. And then we have Dwebble, which I mentioned too. 
And I really like this Evie Light weak armor set, but you don't have to run it. You can run something like Berry Juice 2 with Sturdy. That is also an option. I just like weak armor. And then you have Choice Scarf Mudbray, which I also mentioned in my video. So if you notice, a lot of these new Pokemon I am actually incorporating into my teams. So I really like Choice Scarf Mudbray, and it is a nice cleaner. And the reason I have Earthquake and High Horsepower is that I didn't really feel a need for the other coverage moves, but because I have a Grookey, I do want High Horsepower, but in situations where my Grookey is not in play, I would rather use Earthquake. And then we move on to the star of the show, which is Life Orb Staryu. And I really like this Bolt Beam combination to hit different spin blockers who might try to block you with Rapid Spin, for example, right? So these are all very strong Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, they're very strong attacks. And you add a Life Orb, Life Orb Analytic and it becomes a really nice wall breaker on a hyper offensive team. And yeah, that's basically one of my favorite new meta teams. And I'm going to put uh, all these set descriptions in the description below. So you don't need to worry about making the sets. I'll give you the EVs and everything. And yeah, that's basically what I think is going to be good in the new metagame. Uh, comment down below what you think would be good in this new metagame. I would love to hear your thoughts. But yeah, thank you.